Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, I'm Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we went to two spider houses in Great Bay Coast and Woodfall area place and we cleared them full of spiders, we got a massive like great big wallet thing, we also got a funky little mask over here, Mask of Truth, uh, so that's fantastic, it, it took quite a while but we needed done, Need needed doing and now it's done. In this episode we are doing things we might have done before, you might know, might remember this back from quite an early episode. Uh, we are staking out again, because there's a robber over there who's going to steal a bomb let bomb bag from the bomb lady. She's going to come over here about midnight. I have my reasons for doing this, but uh, I'm just going to meet you when it's done. I just thought I'd start the intro here, because why not? But same again as like one of the old, one of the uh, earlier episodes. But see you after that, okay, guys? It's happening again. It's happening again. This game is cyclical. Things happen again even though we fixed them the first time. Oh no, the horror of society and I don't know. But what we're going to be doing this time, uh, it's not really going to make a di any difference. I thought I'd just show this off. You shoot him with an arrow, he fucking explodes. He fucking explodes. Okay. I don't think that's really relevant for anything we're doing, but uh, yeah. I thought we would finally be able to stop. Okay, whatever. We saved her. That's the important thing. Um, it's important for a couple of reasons, but we just blew a man up. We killed a man. I feel a sense of accomplishment from today. Uh, I, we, we, I should take that into my next day's work. Uh, where am I supposed to be going now, I hear you ask? I don't know, really. So the way these next couple of episodes are going to work is me basically going around finding things to do. I know most of what I can do. I'm trying to just see how much I can do in an episode. With which we come to this over here. I've got to get there. I've just got to leap and make it. Hello! You are making lots of noise and you're like half naked and you're not particularly. Okay. I'm scared. Um, this. I, I feel a certain amount of strange danger about this. I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. I am disappointed, oh moon, I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot of my dance. If, on, if only I had taught my new dance to someone. So the spirit dancer Kamaro is added to the notebook. Uh, you are frightening in every way. I think the only course of action here is to play my ocarina for you. I think it's my song of healing. Because clearly, you have many problems. You can't speak properly. And your dancing is kind of strange. Song of healing does something. Funky sound, that's not the song of healing, that's a different song. Yeah, look at those dance moves. He's like the guy from Wind Waker. The guy who teaches you like the sun song, basically. Spread my dance across the world, train its followers. I have taught it to you, now make it into a popular dance craze. Okay, thank you. He gives us the Kamaro mask, he used to teach the dance of the world so his moves can be as popular as he had hoped they would be. Okay, thank you! I am counting on you. I am counting on you. Yeah, didn't really need translating. I am the dancer's successor. Okay, that's a little bit weird. I'm not too sure the relevance of that, but thankfully I've played this game before, and it does indeed have some relevance to it. So, the Kamara's Mask. Another mask in our massive collection. We're going to get quite a few this episode. Just have a look at it. It's not really a mask. It's kind of a, a, a sack of skin with someone's head on it. Okay? It's not weird at all. It's in fact incredibly frightening. It really is. Oh, okay, it's one of the weirder masks. It's not really a mask. It's like a horn, sort of. I don't know. Kamaro's mask. It does have one use, I think, from what I remember. What I actually want to do. Now we've done the little side quest here. I want to turn the speed up. Turn the speed down, even. Excited. I, I had to make it normal so I could get that side quest done quickly with the bomb man. I blew him up. It's wonderful. I'm gonna make it slow again because there's things need doing this episode. I don't know how many I can do. Basically, before we go to the next area, there are a set number of things I would like to do, and I know how to do them. It's a case of how much can I get done in each episode, and what is a, a natural conclusion for each episode in terms of what we get that episode. I, it's just planning. Planning, guys. It's entirely planning. I've got the wrong, I have gone the wrong way. So what the hell do you use the Kamaro mask for, I hear you ask? Well, there's these people over here. Don't bother us! The Rosa sisters, twin dancers, are added to our notebook, and their dance, if we actually look at it, is pretty shit. It's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm an hourglass, now I'm a, I'm a prancing thing. Okay, let's show them how we do it, how I should do it. We are the king of dancing, look at my fucking dance. There's a kid in the background, he wants me. 
He wants me. Oh, sexy dance. Look at those hips. Those hips don't lie. That is Link on his absolute finest. He has no face, but he is, he is a god amongst men. Look at those dance moves. Yes, I have lackeys. I have apprentices. This is... They are... Oh, look at this. This is synchronized dancing at its absolute finest. I, I was still holding down B for dance for most of that. Don't think you need to. I think it's just a case of press it once and the soldier gets happy. Um, it's like one of those uh, London soldiers, whatever it is. Who, they can't do anything to you. They're just going to be completely straight faced. Thank you for teaching us those steps. Oh, yes. You are our master. Oh, dear. Images. Images, guys. Get us a heart piece. Oh, yes. Four pieces. We got, Oh, yeah. It's a brand new set of four we got to get now. Stole the hearts of the dancers. Why is there only one then? Oh dear. I, 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 they, they like me. They like me. Master, you're so cool. I have no face, but, uh, face, but I'm so cool. Okay then. So that was fun. That, I think that's literally the only use for the Kamaras, Master. You can, you can use it normally and be in a, a massive threat with your dancing skills, but it's still pretty useless otherwise. It has its uses. A quick, like, joke. It's a bit of a joke mask, maybe. I don't know. I don't really care. So where are we going next? Got another master go find. I forget the sort of the ins and outs of this one, as in when you can do it. I know how you can do it, but in terms of when you can do it. We've got the milk bar over here. Can I go in now or is it too late? Yes, it's too late. Welcome, please show proof of membership. Okay. So going back to that side quest with Romani. No. Kremia. Uh, sent fending off the cows. Fending off the milk from the evil people. We have a cow mask, which is proof of membership for the milk bar. Oh, you are a member. Please come in. Indeed, I am a cow. I am a cow. Does everybody else have these? No, they don't. What's going on? So, this is pretty cool, this one. That's just one of my favourite masks to get in the game. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would be, what it would been like. Hey, you! Could you help me with a performance? Okay, I can do that. I, I reckon I can do that. I've got bunny ears. I'm... I'm... Feisty. Okay, you're playing the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlights. This one over here. I'm, I am, hello. There, there we go. That one worked. I have an ocarina. Look at me go. Uh, can I just, well, there we go. That's what, that's what I was trying to make it do. Okay, play your ocarina like this. Uh, okay. Yeah, great song. Yeah. It's the song of nothing in particular. Yeah. Great song. Top of the charts! Oh yeah! Rock and rock! That's okay, that was that was one thing. Okay, that feels good! I, I'm getting a nice vibe from that! He's just like, uh, what was the first? What feels good? That wretched senseless racket! He doesn't like me. Gorman, the leader of the traveling troop, that guy. The traveling troop keeps coming a lot, up, up, up a lot in this game. We had uh, Guru Guru, the guy with the, with the windmill. Toto, the band manager. That sounds familiar. He looks like a Zora. He probably is a Zora, and he manages a band. Can you guess what band that is? I'm not sure you can. Ah, so changing forms. We say we speak to him again. He's like, oh, yes, I'm gonna help with a performance. It's me again. So I don't know if he's just asking strangers or just knowing it's me and using me when I've got different instruments. But okay, let's go. I have pipes this time. Now play your pipes like this. Uh, okay, that's like the sort of song of time, but with a little bit at the end. And it it kind of makes a song. We're making a song. It's like a one man or like a two man band at the moment, but it, technically it's one person. This into two. I don't know. The Gorman guy is, is over there, so. What feels good, that Rich? He's saying the same thing. He doesn't like our music, so what we gotta do is we gotta bring out some drums. We gotta take this to the next level. I'm still going, okay. We gotta take this to the next level. Bring out the heavy weapons. Hi, man. Hi, I'm big. Help. Yes, I can. I've got drums. Add some percussion to this in crazy, tasty ass something. It's such a good song at the moment. Go at the back like every drummer. Yes, play your drums like this. Oh, yes. Dom, 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 dom. Yes. Proper, proper song. Dom. Da dum dum yes, and songs kind of taking taking shape. Not really. It's a, it's something. Um, it's not bad, but of course there is something missing from all of this. I I can I can assure you. He's he's still not happy. So what we gotta do? This is taking it to the absolute next level. We've gotta bring out some sick guitar lyrics. Okay, bring it on. I'm surprised he doesn't recognize me now. Do you recognize me? No, he doesn't. 
even though he's the manager of, I think, the, the Zora band, so he should know I'm Mikau, the god of guitar, and Zoras, and Zora warriors, and all that sort of crap. Play the guitar, like... That was wrong. Hang on. <laughs> ah, I was looking at the next one. Why did I do that? Okay. There we go. It's a falling guitar sequence. What a great, great, like... I don't know. It's, it's almost a song. Almost a song. Yeah, it kind of works. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a great ending to it. It's all kind of moody. It's like a, that's like a jazz, jazz nightclub sort of thing. He loved it. It's like that, 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 that melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby. Ballad of the Wind. No, it's not. No, it's okay. This is something which does annoy me. Ballad of, Ballad of the Windfish is a song from Link's Awakening, and it's fucking amazing. That is not Ballad of the Windfish, it's not even a remix of it. I'll play it at the end of the, of the episode, and tell me where it sounds like the Ballad of the Windfish from Link's Awakening, because it doesn't, in any way, okay? That's the song that members of their previous generation, the Indiegogos, made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. That, oh, it just works, doesn't it? So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. He was, a, he was like a grouchy person. He didn't like us, he didn't like the music, but he kind of likes it. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. And we get, potentially, the most useless mask in the game, the Circus Leader's Mask. This mask looks so sad, it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. Ah, uh, Tears of the Circus Leader Gorman! Okay, so that's a mask, it's a little bit weird, it has a use, it's not a very interesting- well, it's an interesting use, it's not a very functional use, it's not like it helps us gain access to like a hidden far off land or something, it just functions as a mask. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I think I actually need to wait for the start of the next day, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward time to the dawn of the next day and I'm gonna meet you somewhere incredibly special. And actually the area in question is one we've been to before because it's just the Milk Road, which has a blockage in it of course because we haven't got like a powder keg or anything. But what we are here for is this place over here which we haven't been to yet. Gorman Racetrack, home of the horseback riding experts, beginners welcome, please drop in at your leisure. Now we have a horse, last time I checked. Got to just make sure it's still there, got to play a Pona song. Uh, and what we can do, this is why I did the side quest first with the Indiegogo band, the one-man band sort of thing. Interesting kind of couple of things we can do over here. Not really all that interesting. I can't actually remember if it costs anything to do this or if it's free. I'm guessing it's costing to do something. But welcome to the Gorman racetrack. Gorman track even, it was close enough. Uh, the place we went through was Ugly Country previously when we were fending off some evil people who were trying to like fight some other thing, I don't know. So yeah, we've got these guys. These guys are, are fun, hello. Can I, can I talk to you? I would like to talk to you please. I would like to engage in conversation with you. Can I do that? Okay, maybe not. Can I call, talk to you? You, you seem more logical. Is that a pathetic thing, your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure, ain't it? Ain't that bright, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you pushed forward on the control stick, or would it run faster if you pressed A? You know, I don't know what that means, because I'm not from a... Okay. This guy's funny, why don't you give us 10 rupees for the chance to race against you? Hit a voice crack, it's even funnier. If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. So that... <laughs> this guy... The voice I'm giving them actually makes it sound like they're quite nice people. They're not that nice. Just go once around the track, if you can beat us to the finish line, you win! I think that's quite a good... <laughs> you ready? I think that's quite a good deal. I'm gonna go for this. They're cheating bastards, of course. Ready? Watch them go first. Yes, of course they go slightly first. So this is a funny little game. It's a funny little mini game. There is a strategy to it. They will try and push you. You can actually help them. You can you can make them push you rather than you, you're basically. It's like the Gorman. Gorman no, it was, it was uh, in in. What was his guy? Oh, what was his name? The guy from Ocarina of Time who takes over the ranch when you're an adult. I forgot his name. In in Inigo, in 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 something. I forget his name. I really do. Don't block me off, bro. Don't block me off, bro. I'm not having it, bro. Going over these jumps, bro. Watch me go over these jumps, bro. Rrr, push you away, bro. Get out of the way, bro. I don't oh, no. I I nearly timed that very badly. I just want to get some get some carrots back and then go. 
find the shortest route through, and then go, and then go, man. Oh, it's a streamlined, streamlined way of getting through. Let's go. So yeah, these guys are evil, slightly. And I think there's theories that they are supposed to look like the Mario Brothers, or are supposed to be the Mario Brothers. I don't know, because they've got a big brother and a little brother that look almost identical. Whatever. We've just won. I can't believe we lost. <laughs> you did. Big bro, I wonder if we can give this to that, that to this guy. We've got to give him something. Well, he's a kid, so what could he do with it? It should be fine. He gives us a hood with some creepy eyeballs in it. You've got the Garrow's Mask, a wandering ninja spirit who you appear at a canna once... A canna? I, 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 I can't say that word. A canna once wore this. I, I don't know. That's probably how you say it. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. We got the, the Gorman... We, yeah. Hang on. You rubbed the Gorman's brother's nose in it. Uh, this was added to your notebook. Suspicious Gorman Brothers, add it to your notebook. We, okay, this thing, this this mask, we got lots, by the way. Got all, all of a sudden, got lots of masks. It's quite frightening, okay? Comes in handy later in the game, but it's very frightening. Very, very frightening. Look at his eyes, they're just going to stare into your soul. Let me get a good angle. It's going to stare into your soul. Okay, so the reason why I went to the um, Indiegogo, Indiegogo thing is this. This is one of the only uses for this. There's another use which we'll get to later for this. But the circus leader's mask, if we just sort of go over here, I'll just show you what it looks like. Looks like that, okay? Looks like the leader of the, uh, the, 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 the troop thing, but is all sad. Now, okay, so what we're going to do is if we put it on next to him, if you just sort of look at him and then put it on, they become sad! They become sad! Look at that! That's so cool! It's not just him, it's everybody! They're all sad! It's really weird and really dumb, but look at them, they make them go sad. And if we talk to them with it, I think they say something funny as well, do they? I forget. Hello? Uh, oh, that mask! That's our middle brother's big bro! Middle... middle brother's what? So he's gone into the world of entertainment! That younger brother of mine is really struggling. Yeah, really? Compa compare what he does to what we do. Oh, no, 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 and things that we Gorman Brothers have done. Grr, we're not- We're the notorious Gorman Brothers, we can't get all sappy over stuff like this. I'm sorry, but take that mask off. I can't get anything done when you gaze at me with that mask on. So, look at it, this is- it even cries! This mask even cries, okay? Very sad mask. Uh, it's got an origin to it that I don't know if something went- I need to get my horse, hang on. I don't know if it's got like an or origin to it where something went wrong, or they did something bad, or something like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know, it's a very strange, it's not really an easter egg because everybody knows about it, but it's a strange little mask, that. It doesn't really do anything, it, you don't have to get it in the game, it's one of the optional ones, but I don't know, it's kind of funky, it's kind of a nice thing to have. If you're going for 100% you need it, of course, but I don't know, I, I need to, horse, horse has very bad turning circles, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm basically done for this epi episode, almost. There is something else I can do, which will take me a little while to do. But I'm going to meet you somewhere right at the end of the three-day cycle, okay? Because in West Clocktown, we have a very wide variety of shops. We have nothing over here which actually is a shop. We've got the Swordsman School, that's almost a shop. There's actually, there's actually a lottery shop over here which we haven't been to yet. Might show that off. Hasn't really got a use other than lotteries, and you can do some sort of time travel thing to make sure you always win there. But there's no real point to that, you don't, there's nothing to that. We have the bomb shop over here, which we've been to and seen before. Had like, a, it has like, you know, we got the big bomb bag in there, you can get, there's a Goron in there with a powder keg. There's a thing over here which is, I think, the trading post is technically called, it's like the normal shop. There's all sorts of crap you can get in there, there's actually a fish which you can get for free, which is amazing. And then over here, we have a shop we haven't been to yet, okay? Can I get a check on this? Can I get a check? Hello? It is the Curiosity Shop. No no explanation, it's just a shop. It's now just opened, now it's 10pm on the stuff on the final day. It's a little bit weird, this place. It's, uh, I feel exposed. I'm scared. Is anybody gonna hurt me? Hello? Sorry, I don't serve, I don't serve masqueraders, because I'm wearing my bunny hood. How? Do you scare, you serve scary people? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I was, surely you'd serve scary people. I don't know. So whatever. Hello. Come in. Uh, you gotta look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. Tonight's bargain is the all night mask for use at bedtime. Okay. I forgot when this was made, but I, but I, uh, uh, but it sure is a freak. I thought, okay. But it sure is a freaky mask. See? It looks it. When you put it on, you can try and, f try and try and, t hang on. When you try to put, when you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you just won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? That's not what it said at all. Well, let me check the bargain. It's the all-night mask, okay? 500 rupees. It is, in fact, the most expensive item in the game. 
I think it's the only item in the game which actually requires you to get the big wallet. Apparently this mask won't let you drip off to sleep even if you want to. Uh, it's pretty important, this mask, for like two things. It's not very, uh... To be, to be honest, I'm annoyed that it's the you you just have to get 500 rupees, the giant wallet, to get a mask which does very little. You might be asking, you might be wondering, this is actually what I was doing by stopping the robbery on the first night between the, uh, the, the, the guy with the creepy grin and the bomb lady, because if you don't stop that robbery, if you're not even there to do anything, he will then sell at that point in time the biggest bomb bag, or the big bomb bag thing we got from the old lady later, a long time ago when we actually bought it from her, but it's nice to get the all, all night mask, if we actually look in here, we've got what, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven masks to get in, left in the game, most of them are actually part of the story remaining in the game, so we haven't got that many masks to get, which we have to go out of our way to get, so that's quite encouraging. And on that point, I will end the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Rebel Luigi. In the next episode, we are going to be doing other things. Probably do some heart pieces now because we're almost out of masks, like I said, which we can get optionally. We got most of the optional masks in the game. We can start using some of them. That's another thing. Why I decided to get the masks first, so we can actually get some heart pieces from them. There's a lot of heart pieces we can get from them because they're optional, and heart pieces are generally pretty optional, but we'll be doing that next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Take care.